Because we've still had reporters, um, Polly doing something low like that, the next bay over. Um, okay. The council's going to give away two free coffee for that. And I'm going to ask some questions. Go ahead. Here's one question for the first coffee. Um, we're going to have lots of rips and sandbars and great surfing, but Fiji has none of that. Fiji is a steep, narrow river. Why is Fiji different? Yeah? But what's protecting Fiji? I'm going to be a kid. <laughs> Wedding Cake Island, and what does Wedding Cake Island do? We win a book. Wed Wedding Cake Island sits offshore, it's, like, it's actually a lot more to it than the sea. And it's just weak, and blocks, the swell would come in and within days, things would rearrange, and you have sandbars and rips and great surfing. So I'm not going to really do that. But anyway. Now, before you go, there's a few things you should know about. There is a lot of places you can go to get this sort of information. The Surf Life Saving Australia has a new website, fairly new, called beatsafe.org. And it's got information in the month yeah. so that you can send me pictures of rips right. around the world and talk about it. Fun. And we've done these YouTube videos. And one of the YouTube videos we did is called Don't Get Sucked In By The Rip, a year and a half ago. It's up to about oh, I'm just now we're going to do all the little better ones. So they're on the table back there, you can help yourself. That. Yeah, so anyway, I've done 15 of these this month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. If you want to see one more, I'm doing one of the grandma. But yeah, that's what you got. Oh, all right. Hopefully, uh, one more book to give you up. Okay. Well, the problem was like this, I'll break it. The key message is that you said any guest would be able to get well, the trouble. Swing to the perennial flag, you get the other one, really. You're not going to see it. Well, it's going to get to the Uh, at this stage, nothing, um, nothing is happening. Um, whether it's just filming or training or what, but um, no, no one knows what it is. Yeah, copy that. Thanks for that. Uh, lots of ways. Probably move like that, please. What's it doing? Hey, where's the purple gone? Point yeah. to the purple. It's going out to sea. It takes people with it. Hey? It does. Thanks, mate. Good on. Just keep looking. Let's say it's bad. Going out. Going out, didn't it look all through there? Say that again. See, it's going out all through the river. parallel to the beach. One option you have if the rip takes you at the back, if you swim along the beach parallel in either way, and then you come back in with the breaking waves, that's another way to escape the rip. Just wait for that sun to come out and then uh, just find out so you can see it going out there and find the breakers and just all that stuff I missed.
The number of near drownings at Sydney's beaches is soaring as the La Nina weather pattern whips up dangerous surf. This summer, more than 1,800 people have been pulled from the water, prompting a new beach safety campaign. Maroubra Beach this afternoon. Can you spot the rip? Most can't, and that's the problem. Australians don't know as much about rip currents as they think they do. Rip expert Dr Rob Brander adds a harmless purple dye and the fast flowing danger is revealed. In just a couple of minutes it can take swimmers past the breakers 100 metres offshore. I'd say about 80% of our, our work is uh, rip related with people jumping into the rips and not being able to, to get out of them. They actually look like the safest place to swim. They look nice and clear and calm. He teaches beachgoers to spot them, looking for dark gaps caused by deeper water. Now I realise there was so much I didn't know. We're going to practice rip spotting. The real target group should be people living in the western suburbs. And those people get rescued quite a bit because they don't go to the beach very often and they're not exposed to a lot of beach safety education. It's been a busy summer for our surf lifesavers. Already this season we've seen more than 2,700 rescues in New South Wales. More than 400 of those were just last weekend with all that big swell. Get caught in a rip, the advice is don't panic. Relax, float and raise an arm for attention. If they're keen they can swim parallel to the beach and that'll get them out of the rip. There's more on our website. Paul Kadak, 7 News.